What crazy timeline are we living in right now? Anyways, this is um just before I begin this video, I just want to say that I am not going to I'm not going to report on the news. I'm not going to give you any new piece of information that cannot be easily find uh, found online. Um, I'm just going to give you my opinion on the situation, nor am I going to show pictures or images of the situation because I don't want YouTube to like suppress the video or anything like that. So I'm just going to try to like air on the side of caution. So with that said, let's begin by stating one critical fact about this. I hate politics. I am not one to ever trust a politician, but I have to pay attention to politics around me because they affect me, they affect my groceries, they affect gas, they affect they affect everything, right? So whether you you like it or not, politics is like part of your life. It's it's you're surrounded by it. Period. With that said, I don't care where you land on the political spectrum. What happened yesterday is one of the most critical things that could have happened to this country in recent years, especially now that the, that the country feels so divided. What happened yesterday is insane and should have never happened. Now, here's the thing. There's obviously a lot of opinions on this matter. And there's a lot of people that have very vivid and like livid uh, opinions. One of the opinions that I've seen recently, um, especially on Twitter, is of certain group of people saying that this was staged. They're saying, oh, um, what the, the shooting that happened at the rally was staged. For anyone that didn't know, I'm talking about like the, the, the assassination attempt on former President Trump at a rally. So a bullet grazed his ear, went down, Secret Service came in, and the the shooter was sent to the shadow realm, and sadly another person in the in the crowd, allegedly, I think, uh, based on many reports that I've seen, uh, also like sadly passed away. Uh, Trump is fine; he was like taken out of the out of the podium. Yada yada. But I do see a lot of comments saying that, no, this was absolutely fake and it was just propaganda. To that, I th like in my opinion, and, and time will, will say if I'm wrong or right, but in my opinion, it's, it's, it's very crazy to think that this was staged for the, for the sole reason that two people actually lost their lives. Unless they, like... Unless they were like the absolute biggest, like yes, guys, um, we are we're we're willing to like sacrifice our life for the greater good, and it's it's okay. You can like shoot us. Then to have like the most precise sniper of all time to just like graze the ear, being so close to the head as opposed to like a shoulder wound or or something where it would be safer to shoot someone, uh, I think like the evidence points to this was clearly not staged. And it's not crazy to, to not think that it would happen. Like, to be honest with you, I am actually like kind of surprised this didn't happen before. Um, and, 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 but not saying that I have ever wanted it to happen. I don't, I've never would have wanted it to to see it to to see it happen, it's especially especially now during these times where the country feels again so divided, and that that is just insane. Um, so I tweeted yesterday that you know I I I really hope that um, the Trump is is okay that he's safe and sound because at the end of the day. He's he's the dad, you know. He's he's the dad. You might not like the guy, 
but he has family and people that care about him uh and if and if the bullet had been an inch to like the left i think or the right it doesn't matter um the story would be completely different like we would be talking about the loss of someone you know like a, a major loss um so anyways with that uh, the other the other opinion that i've seen that i think is also like bad shit insane is how some people are saying oh you missed you had like one one job and you missed it darn it like to that i'm just like in awe because and i don't care where you land on the political spectrum to wish death upon someone like that it's it's insane it's insane to me like I just cannot conceive the idea that a regular sane person would look at this and be like, yeah, should have happened. Not happy he missed. That That is just, in my opinion, that is evil. That's very evil. Like, again, you, you can decide not to like the guy or anything. But not... Uh, but inciting that type of violence is the type of shit that gets us to the to do where we are where we are today talking about this because this is what happens like people will will run with very extremist ideas and they would feel uh, like fill their brains with all of this like oh yeah People are saying that if if I do something like incredibly radical, I'll change the world. And yes, you'll you'll change the world, but not the way you think. Like it, 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 this is not like you're not the protagonist of an anime. You're 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 not the protagonist of a movie or anything. Like this is real life with with consequences that expand beyond your like noodle brain comprehension. So. To, to to see some of those stakes of people saying like oh this he missed it it just kind of boils my blood because it's that is just irresponsible to say very irresponsible now with that said i do got to give like props to to um to to Biden at this point because he to to what I what I saw he he like pulled down his ads his campaign ads and he called Trump and he like made sure that he was fine and I honestly think like that that was the best and only thing that he could have done to like not damage his image any further <laughs> you know um and it, it, just if you were wondering um where I land on the political spectrum, that is, that is not relevant. Like I am, like, like I said, I, I couldn't care less about politics or anything. And I do have my, my points of view of whether I think one candidate is better over the other, other, but that doesn't mean that I will forever be either a Republican or a Democrat or anything. I, I, I feel like, um, it doesn't matter because you should look at the politician and say well i like this better than this whether it is the party that you previously voted on or not like i i think it's it's okay to like switch from time to time because you know it's circumstantial and to think that um to be like close minded that oh no i'm always going to be republican or always democrat it just kind of like limits points of view so that's where i land i i i think you should go for the best candidate for the job regardless of whatever party he's in uh so anyways with that said i am i i am astounded that that this happened and and i do wish um that trump is is okay that 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 he makes a speedy recovery and that this doesn't happen again i i really hope it doesn't because it's just scary like i said i come from mexico where this type of things are pretty common 
and <laughs> and again <laughs> you don't want this in your country you don't want this in in the united states now to 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 put some light in the situation i am saddened i'm really 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 sad that to to see that someone did lost um his or her life i think it's a he uh, a person in the like like near where trump was so i mean that was a maybe a father or a son or something uh to someone and the family is mourning most likely that person today so uh my deepest respects to to that family because clearly that was a stray bullet that got to him to the shooter can just fucking rot in hell i i couldn't give a shit about the the shooter but um but yeah to to the person that sadly lost his life at the at the rally well you know um i hope his family finds um quick resolution so yeah crazy times we live in and again this shouldn't be a political statement this should be just a human statement of like uh guys don't wish death upon anyone and don't act on radical ideas but anyways um let me know in the comments down below what you think um and yeah that's it see you